Hey everybody, Tom Joya here from Visionary Music Group. We're continuing our series of mix tips video. This is mix tip number 10, how we use automation to help our mixing process. So in this short video, we're gonna break it down for you. So let's take a look at this session right here. We're still working on this song, Long Gone by Moguls of Mayhem. We mixed it a while ago, but we're recreating it for the purpose of these mix tip videos. So let's explain what's going on with this automation on the VCAs. So I have the VCA master controlling all of them. So I'm creating some dynamics in the master in the song where the choruses are getting bumped a little bit. Certain other parts are getting lowered like in the verses. And you'll see at the top of the tune, there is a fade in. So let me go to the top and I'll play it and you can hear the fade in. So then we've bumped up different sections of the songs to create dynamics. So another thing you'll see here is at the drums, right? You're gonna see these little bumps, they're tiny. So sometimes we'll boost the fill going into the chorus and many times we'll boost the downbeat of the chorus for more emphasis. Another thing I like to do in the chorus is give them a little stereo widening. So right here, you'll see this part bumping up and that's the stereo width portion of this plugin that I'm automating right over here. So instead of being at the 100% standard, it will bump up when I get to the chorus to 132. There's stereo with things happening. There's obvious volume changes happening. Then as we proceed down, you'll see some other things. This is my side chain A, which is the drums and the bass and all percussion and loops. I'm bumping those a little in the chorus and lowering it, lowering it in other parts for a little more impact. In my parallel processing here, this is my distressor plugin, and that's most of the drum attack kind of portion of it. I'm bumping that. I'm bumping the kick and snare drum crush a little bit to give a little more emphasis in the choruses. Then as we proceed down here, I did the same thing you'll see with the lead vocal side chains. They're getting a little boost in the choruses, so it has a little more attack. Then we'll check the drums out. You'll see these blue lines underneath are showing us that they belong to the VCA group and they're and they're moving with that and the kick usually the kick has to be bumped up a hair in the choruses to make up for everything going on with the guitars now down here in the basses i have a, a low like a sub bass track here that's malted on this aux submaster so i like to make those bigger in the choruses so what's happening in the chorus is you'll get a push from the volume parallel compression is being pushed up in certain areas the widener is being spread out even more in the chorus. And then we're trying to expand the high and low frequencies by giving us some more subs. So the whole chorus seems to be bigger and pay off. So here's some, some lead vocal things. This is a mute. We'll, we'll watch this turn on and off right here. Just to go along, go along and get along. In a high. So there are sends going to two different delays that are popping in and out to accentuate words at the end of lines. Check that out again. They're preset and they're muted. Then we unmute them with the automation. Whenever something is automated in Pro Tools, it gives you this yellow dialogue here. So the level here changes. I have that coming up in the choruses. So you, you can see the automation is happening on these effects in the choruses. So this here, this particular thing is a filter that I use for telephone echo. So let's find where that comes in and explain that. So right here, this pops in. So we'll watch this, it's bypassed, then it's gonna turn on and then you hear the telephone echo applied to the background vocal bus. And that'll shut off as I go further over here, as you'll see. So effects can be applied. Equalization changes can be applied with automation. You can even trigger thresholds of compression. I didn't do that on this because I, I gained everything pretty well. So I'm going to slide down here and check out a few things. You'll notice here I'm taking care of panning this guitar and guitar double. 
So in the interest of, of, of widening out the, the stereo field or narrowing it for certain parts of the song, we're going to watch these stereo pan pots right there and see what happens. So you're going to see in the pre-chorus that they're tucked in a little bit and then they bounce out on the chorus. Who's original? Who is original? I wish that things could be like they were before. I close my eyes and see the coming star. The life you say we lead has fallen out. So we're also automating panning to bring some excitement and drama. Then we have like slight, you know, volume swells for certain things. Then, then you'll notice down here on a lot of these, you'll see that they're off. I cleaned up everything on the waveform. But if you're in a rush and you don't have time to do it for some reason, you got to get a quick mix out and there's some noise, you can, you can do this. So watch the faders over here on the highlighted guitar tracks on the bridge. They'll be off and then they'll, they'll pop on. So that's strictly for uh, cleanup purposes for you guys to see. Normally I just clean up the audio. So this is the lead vocal and the verses. There was a couple little spots I wanted to accentuate things. I like to catch the breaths at the end to get the emotion of the performance. So we're gonna watch this fader bounce around a little bit. If for today we sway and sway just to go along. there you see a bunch more of it so to recap we have used our automation obvious things control levels bring out emotion and vocal performances do rides up and down for drama but we use them on VCA submasters and aux submasters to give the chorus a bump up in volume to lower the verses to give our kick drum a bump up to turn up our bass sub in the chorus to create a little more low end and a little more width we used it to widen our stereo panning in the choruses on specific channels with panning and with our stereo widener on the master bus to open up the mix more. So we're trying to make the mix louder in certain spots and quieter, wider or narrower, and we're trying to give it more impact in and out by moving our parallel compression in and out. And then we use it to send to effects or to change EQ on the fly like we did with telephone echoes and telephone EQs in different parts of the song. So we hope you enjoyed this mix. If you have any questions or comments, please put them in the comment box below or message me. I'll get back to you. We hope you liked the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. We appreciate your support. And hit the notification bell so we can let you know when we have more content like this coming up if you're interested. Thanks again. Happy mixing.